The sponsor of the video is PCBWay. Now, they're one of the top PCB manufacturers out there, and you can quickly have your projects ready-made for you within 24 hours with their 24-hour service. They also do have assembly and flashing services, and it's the company I always use whenever I create a product and or project. So go ahead and check the links down below. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So in today's video, we're taking a look at the HDLRC Wind 5 Lite True X Frame. Now, this is a 5-inch little beast that's supposed to be light in weight and at the same time be as durable as possible and the way they've they've actually achieved something very rigid and very strong i mean even the design i can't even have this bend a bit no matter how hard i do that and they also have these front and back protectors which you could add once you have the motor set up and uh, i can't even bend them slightly it's just so insane they're, they're really really strong and they've been cut properly here so that is something really nice to see. And also what's nice with all this is that the price is still below 50 bucks, which is really crazy. So if you wanted some kind of a light racing build, this is the type of frame you probably want to go pick up. So now let's talk about the specs, see the sizes and just see the overall layout of this and how much space we have on the inside and everything you might want to know if you're looking into purchasing a frame here. So let's start with the compatibility of the propellers here. Now this thing is a five inch quadcopter, so obviously it'll take five inch propellers. However, it is able to take up to 5.2 inch propellers. So you'll be able to put uh, the five inch folds, for example, because they're 5.1 inches. So if you like the 5.1 inch props, this will work just perfect. Now, when you're looking into purchasing a camera, the only thing that'll actually fit in the analog variant, which is going to be a nano. So a nano size camera is what will fit here. So keep that in mind. Now this comes in two different variants. You have an analog and the Cadex Vista variant, and there's only a couple differences really between them. Uh, this is the analog is gonna be much lower. And the Cadex HD Vista variant is going to have uh, more space. It's going to be up to 32 millimeters. This one's 25 millimeters. So you get 25 millimeters of space inside. With the Cadex Vista, you get a bit more. You get around 7 more millimeters of stack height. And you get a different 3D printed part back here that will accommodate the uh, Vista's antenna. Now, what's really nice with this, if you go to the uh, page posting, which I'll have linked down below, they have all of the 3D printed files that you could download and print yourself. So if you ever wanted to change something, uh, you could easily do that there. Now, what I wish HLRC did here with this frame was also kind of design the files for a camera setup, which I think they have, but I'm not sure. I couldn't see the files because they didn't have any pictures. And um, if they put some kind of a GoPro mount for this, that would be super awesome as well. Then you'd have a pretty light, quick uh, beast with a GoPro setup on there. So that would have been really nice. And, you know, they can easily do that later on. Or we'll probably find it on Thingiverse. Now let's take a look at these. These are actually four millimeters in thickness, which is really great. And I cannot bend them for the life of me. I mean, they're, they're so strong and you, I can't even get a good grip to bend them because the way it twists out of your hand and the way the force is being distributed is really insane, actually. Something this thin to be this strong is just crazy. So uh, you do have some really good protection here. I think the thing you'll probably break would be your motor screws if they were shitty uh, in a crash. So just push it and probably bend them. And that's about it, really. So this is really nice to see here. Not only that, you also have uh, the arms here are five millimeters. And this thing is insanely rigid. Like, I can't even bend it. Like, not even a, a single bit. It's just crazy. Um, so that's uh, that's something really nice. And you can see how all the angles, we have no sharp angles here. So it could distribute these stresses uh, very evenly. And uh, we have, and there's less chance of you breaking this, but obviously everything breaks. Um, also, another thing that I really like to see here is that we have mounting solutions for both 20 by 20 and 30 by 30, which is to be expected nowadays. Not only that, for the 30 by 30 stacks, they actually give you two types of rubber grommets. So you could even uh, dampen those screws completely from the base, basically which is really nice to see here. So they give you two sets. We have uh, these right here, and then we have some of these, and you can choose whatever one you like, and uh, you'll be good to go into that perspective. Now, also to take something into consideration, this is a bottom mount battery frame. So the battery will be hanging on the bottom, and the place where the strap's gonna go is basically under the stack. So keep that in mind. There's no space for you to install it right here. It's meant to go under the stack, so you're going to have to keep some buffer space for that uh, battery strap in order to be able to put a battery on this. You definitely keep that in mind. Obviously, you get a really nice uh, wind five right there, but I accidentally put it backwards here. And now if we grab a closer look at the upper plate here, what we see is this is a three millimeter plate. And on the bottom, we have a 2.5 millimeter plate or two millimeter plate. Uh, it is a bit smaller than the, the upper one here. And uh, we do see we have some holes kind of close to the edge, but I think it's going to be okay with this. Uh, they're not that close, but again, 
uh, you know, you only have so much space to work with. So if we also talk about the arms, the way that they're mounted into the frame seems to be pretty solid and pretty rigid. Uh, there's actually, we could say two and a half points where that's actually happening here. We have two screws here. One goes into a self-locking nut up here, which holds the arm. We also have another one right here, which goes into the standoff. And in the middle right here, it's an alignment screw that actually uh, keeps everything very rigid and it doesn't budge one bit. It's crazy for all the arms. And you can tell that middle one is also going into a self-locking nut. So again, the design is really nice. This does not seem like a half-assed job, and it seems like a really proper job here. And I really like the fact that they're able to keep all this under 50 bucks, which is really great to see here. Uh, there's some other frames out there that cost more than that. But now the average is around 50 bucks, especially for really good carbon, really good cuts, and overall really great design. Now, this is not your typical freestyle quad. Now, this type of quadcopter won't fall into the freestyle category. This will go into more of the racing category, but you could always convert it into a freestyle category if you wanted to. Just mount a GoPro up here and you're good to go. And usually freestyle quadcopters, you kind of want a top mount battery, uh, but it's really up to you at the end of the day. You could just convert this, stick a GoPro there and just call it a freestyle, your freestyle quadcopter, and it'll do the job just like the other quadcopters. Now, the overall weight was around 74 grams with everything you see here, which is really nice also. I don't know the weight of the, the Cadex Vista variant, but it shouldn't increase that much. It would probably, probably about a couple grams, three or four grams extra due to the extra height or the extra length of the standoffs. And that is really the only difference other than the 3D printed part back here, probably the camera holder also. And well, everything is linked down below, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.